the bookworms. One day, a few years ago, I was at Barnes & Noble when I met a local teacher. His name is Daryl Womack, and he was there promoting his new book. He was very nice, and his book sounded interesting, so I bought a copy. Tales of Westerford is a fantasy book set in medieval times with 218 pages. This story is about a man named Nathaniel and the adventures of his life. The book is written from Nathaniel's perspective as he acts as the narrator of the story. His friends gave him the nickname of Nat when he was a young child because he was so small of stature that he reminded his friend of a bug. Nat grew up in a small village in the kingdom as the son of a grain farmer. He and his friends dreamed of becoming knights and often played pretending that they were knights. While he knew he was not of noble birth, he felt that it was very important to live his life in a knightly way. At the young age of 10, Nat finds a large egg. He secretly takes care of the, this egg until it hatches. In this time, dragons were known as fearsome creatures, but everyone also thought them to be extinct. So of course, Nat had to keep his new best friend a secret. I highly recommend that you pick up this book and follow Nat on his journey to rise above his station to win the hand of the woman he loves. This page turner of a book takes you on an adventure full of action that will have you on the edge of your seat and sweet moments that will make you go, aww. I give this book four out of five stars. I love how the author describes things in a way that makes it easy to imagine being there without being too worried. The storyline was interesting and engaging and the story flowed well. The storyline contains some great foreshadowing. It really reminded me of a classic fairy tale. The only thing I didn't like was that the chapters were very short and the story ended too quickly. I found the book relaxing to read and wish it had been longer. According to a social media page, the author is working on another book. I personally am looking forward to reading his next book as soon as it's released. Hey guys, sit tight for more book reviews. See you again soon.